Hey guys, it's Kev Killed here, and I'm bringing you my awesome game that I'm absolutely going to love forever. I'm going to look back at this and say, oh yeah, this is going to be sweet. So like I said, two Pavlos, but I could have got a higher score if it wasn't for the score limit. If I was doing Ground War, I could have got a higher score, but that would involve more people and more problems, perhaps. But I like to keep rooms small. Like, TDM is great. I like Team Deathmatch most of the time. I do not like to play other modes as well. I like to stick with Mercenary Team Deathmatch is because so then I don't have to play with clans or clans that suck or clans that are just way too abusive and some that rage quit. I don't like to play with rage quitters all the time is because if they do rage quit and if they're hosts, then BAM! Host migration. Absolutely annoying. Everyone hates host migration. And still, even if you were to leave, your KD is still the same. Whether it's 0 and 10, and if you leave, you're still going to be stuck with 0 and 10. So may as well just keep playing and perhaps learn new skills along the way. If you fret too much about your kill-death ratio, you just might not be playing your full potential because then you're always stressed out and worried about one little thing that's not necessarily important. Like sure, having a high kill-death ratio may look cool in front of your friends, but honestly, the only person that you're hurting is yourself. No one else really cares about your own kill-death ratio. The only ones they care about is their own. So, if you don't have to worry about your own kill-death ratio, then you don't have to worry about anything, and then you can have a good time, and when you have a good time, you can play much better in Call of Duty and other sorts of various games as well. And if you're not taking my word for advice, uh, the only thing I can say is that you could make an alternate PlayStation Network account, or if you're playing on the Xbox, you could make another account. I don't know how that works, because I don't have one. You can make another account and then just play on that one and then once you get the hang of things you can pretty much play much better. Because this game is all about practice. Once you learn the map, the controls, the guns, the equipment, everything that this game has to offer, once you learn all that you should be able to progress much faster. I should really stop there and start talking about what am I doing on this map and what stuff I have on this class. I actually wanted to try an assault rifle this time, unlike me using submachine guns all the time. So I was looking down the list and I said, hey, a TAR-21, may as well give that a try because I don't use that primarily. I like to use the M4 or the SCAR most of the time, and once I get higher level, the ACR and uh, AK-47. As you can see, I have the grenade launcher attached to it. I was using this before, so that's how I got my 10 kills. After this match, I kept on playing with the tart, and I do have to say, it is a really, really good gun. Especially the iron sight, which is no red dot or holographic sight attached to it. Which makes it very nice to attach other th various sorts of attachments, such as a grenade launcher, heartbeat sensor, or a silencer. I would highly recommend this gun, especially the high damage that it has to offer. And you can get this gun at a quite a low level, I believe it's before 20, I don't know exactly, but once you get the TAR-21, I would highly recommend you start using it, if you like to use assault rifles and such. Next is my secondary. I mainly like to use pistols, because they have a fast switch rate, so whenever you damage the enemy, you can pull out your pistol really fast and finish off the enemy. I don't necessarily like to use machine pistols or shotguns as secondaries all the time. One reason being is because they have that slow switch rate. So whenever you're in a firefight and you're pulling one of those out, you just might die compared to pulling out a pistol and maybe saving your own life. The only times I usually use machine pistols is whenever I need a backup primary for whenever I don't have Scavenger Pro. Since this was my fourth prestige and I'm at level 20, yeah, I didn't get Scavenger Pro too quickly, so I guess I'm left with this. So I'm fine with that. Next to shotguns. I don't favor shotguns as much, because they're just a one-shot kill at close range. I find them very cheap. The only time I'm going to use shotguns is on a default class, or whenever the enemy is using a shotgun pretty much as a primary. So I would just pick it up and just use it back at them, because shotguns are so annoying and absolutely cheap. I'm not saying you shouldn't use shotguns, but if you absolutely don't care and only care about killing, yeah sure, go ahead. Next is the equipment. I always like to put a Semtex on my equipment because I find the Semtex is very useful. 
The frag grenades, however, are not my style, and the claymores, I don't know how to really use them that well. For special grenades, I usually stick with flashbangs. I don't necessarily find stun grenades useful, even though they have a faster pull on the clip. If the enemy is stunned, they can still kill you if you are facing toward the enemy. The only good thing I could say about stuns is just slowing down the enemy, which is good for capture the flag. Or to slow down a person you're chasing, or if they're running away. As you can see in this video, I'm on 4th Prestige, and I'm only level 20, so I do not have Scavenger Pro available. That being said, one of my deaths was for me being greedy picking up one of those scavenger packs. I find scavenger and scavenger proke one of the best perks in the game. Whenever you need a good high kill streak or if you're playing for survival, put scavenger pro on and you should be good to go. Scavenger and scavenger pro is not an offensive perk. You should play defensively whenever you have this equipped. Reason being is because Scavenger and Scavenger Pro gives you more ammunition for your guns. So whenever you have more ammunition, you should stay back and actually use it instead of wasting it on your lives. Next is Stopping Power. Even if you're new or experienced, having Stopping Power is a great way to do well and to get quite a bit of kills. Since this perk is unaffected by other perks, only Painkiller, but Having this perk on any or all your classes will make your gameplay much better. The last perk I was using, yes I was using Commando. But before any of you guys say, oh my god you used Commando, I didn't knife anybody in this match. So it was completely useless here. I do appreciate the no falling damage, but Ninja and Ninja Pro I find much more useful compared to the other third tier of perks. My killstreaks are UAV, Predator Missile, and Pavlo. From using this set of killstreaks, I'm gonna have to say it is very effective. The UAV is just to add on a few more kills, the Predator Missile is the first killstreak to add on to your existing killstreak, which makes getting the Pavlo much, much easier than just absolutely killing as many people as you can. So from using this class setup, I'm gonna have to say it was excellent. Getting a really good score and all, I'm gonna have to say this set should be a 9 out of 10. The only way to make a 10 out of 10 is have a better third tier perk because I'm not necessarily gonna go running around knifing everybody whenever I can. If I had Ninja or Ninja Pro, that would make it much more excellent. So for this game, I pretty much played it very defensively and utilized the entire map. Don't be afraid to use whatever is available to you. There's always something you can do to excel your gameplay. So that's just about it. This is Kev Killed bringing you a score of 30, 0, and 2. Thanks for watching and see you guys then.